darn it. There's got to be something better we can do to organize things in this tiny little space. Hmm. Let me see. In keeping with the name of the channel, we have learned some things as we live in our camper from time to time. Since we are weekend warriors, we don't get to use it all the time like some of you full-timers, but we have learned some things to help us in this tiny little space be a little more organized. Um, so here are a few tips that we've put together for you. And everything that Miss Genius Engineer here is going to tell you about We've got links to down below, so you'll be able to find them if they help you, if you think they'll help you out. As someone that is vertically challenged, it is difficult for me to reach things in these higher cabinets and see everything that's in the back. So I found mm -hmm. some shelving systems that go in a cabinet for, you know, a kitchen or a bathroom, but it elevated everything up so that I could actually see what's in here and it's not piled on top of each other so every time we tried to pull something out before we had to pull everything out to get what was on the bottom this allows us to see everything clearly and reach everything nice and neat and take advantage of this vertical space above so that it's not just a big pile of mess in keeping with the shelving systems to help organize i chose these shelves that are kind of floating shelves but they attach with 3m strips so they can actually be removed but i wanted to use them in the kitchen but unfortunately our kitchen is so tiny that where i wanted to place them for like a spice rack our cover on our stove wouldn't allow me to put them there or they would bump into it so i put them on either side of the dinette to hold extra things to get it off the table because if you watched one of our previous videos, we constantly have to move things from place to place. So right now, since I'm fighting a cold, it's become my medicine cabinet. It holds my sunglasses, sometimes caps, playing cards, salt and pepper, whatever. So it's a nice little space to get things off the table and out of the way. Um, but they are removable if you decide you want them to elsewhere. In keeping with the shelving systems I seem to have a theme for, this is an overdoor hanging shelving type system or pockets that I call our little pantry. I have things like chips and bread and things that don't weigh a lot because I don't want to put a lot of weight on this door. It's not your typical house door. I don't want to mess up the framing system. We also have one in our bathroom that we can put extra towels or hairbrushes or whatever just to get them out of the way of the linen closet to save some space in there as well another tip i have for keeping small spaces organized is another shelf this one actually came from our mini trips over the last year trying to figure out what the best system is to organize our clothes for our trips and since we tend to overpack both of us sometimes, this kind of helps. We tried packing cubes. We've tried hanging things. It just, we only have this small wardrobe. We don't have any drawers or anything to keep our clothes, clothing organized. This allows us to um, put our clothes in here and still have almost like a drawer type system. It's actually a travel system for a suitcase. It's a hanging shelving system that will fit in a carry-on bag but it's narrow enough to fit in this tiny wardrobe that allows me to use packing cubes or just to fold or roll things up in them so it's almost like a drawer but it allows us to put things in here and have things a little bit better organized for our trips last but not least this little guy right here is a foldable ottoman it's waterproof the lid comes off you can actually use it for storage i have a blanket in here but if you take the blanket out remove the insert you can fold it and put it away so it's out of the way 
but it provides a little extra seating. It provides storage. It allows us to put our feet up. So this guy comes in pretty handy. It even holds my drinks if I'm sitting on the couch and I need somewhere to put it while we're watching TV or just relaxing or reading a book. This is a winner. Let me assure you folks, we would never survive a long weekend in this camper were it not for this lady's ingenuity. Aw, thanks, honey. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. It's easy when it's the truth. I uh, hope you found these suggestions helpful. Maybe they can come into some use in your in your enclosed space. And if you have any tips for us, please share. I always love new ideas. Because as we say, living and learning, folks. I mean, we've tried things and they haven't worked. We've got to try new things. That's right. Uh, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, everything that we've shown you here today, uh, we've got links down below. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, we are Amazon affiliates. Anything you buy from those links, anything you buy from Amazon at all, after you've touched those links uh, for 48 hours, I think it is, uh, we get a couple of pennies for the referral. Uh, it doesn't cost you a penny extra. It helps us out a lot. It, it, again, it's a couple of bucks for us every now and then. It goes back into cameras and SD cards and whatnot, so we can continue making fine video content for your enjoyment. <laughs> On that note, as we've demonstrated in this video, and as we always do, keep living and learning. Mm -hmm.